The Prestige Series 1963 Studebaker Avanti by AMT Erdl. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, welcome back to another cool Monster Hobbies what's in the box video. Today we are looking at one of my favorite series of all time that AMT ever came out with, the Prestige series. And this is our 1964 Studebaker Avanti, which is another cool model kit. My dad has one of these, he painted his gold. So there you go, a little family history on our model car building. Really cool. So this was made by AMT Ertl and is a really cool kit. And there, oh, there's another thing about this model in particular. When I got this thing way back in the day, I opened it up and I noticed that the body was warped. So I phoned AMT because they had a uh, parts replacement like this back in the old days. I phoned them using my dad's rotary phone. Ha ha! Anyway, they sent out all the white pieces again. That's the body, the door panels, the whole thing. So. We are going to check this great baby out coming up next. But before we do that, of course, don't forget to do the three things. What are they again? Oh yeah, like, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends and pound that notification bell so that every time I make a video, you are the first to know about it. And now without further ado, let's go down where the rubber meets the road and open up the lid on this great Studebaker Avanti. And now we look at one of the American independents in this very awesome prestige series. This is, of course, the 1963 Studebaker Avanti, and this is one of my most favorite box art from AMT of all time, because you get the nice car sitting in front of a really luxurious, prestigious millionaire's home, and all kinds of cool stuff. And this model kit, of course, has the specifications here and a definition of prestige. Prestige! <laughs> Model kit specifications for the 63 Studebaker Avanti. Type, four passenger, front engine, luxury sports coupe. Engine, 289 cubic inch, 240 horsepower V8 engine. Um, options, headers, dual Paxton superchargers. The transmission is a four-speed manual. The wheels and tires are Firestone tires and stock wheels. Uh, options, Anson mags and moon racing covers. Exterior options, custom headlights, taillights, fenders, mirrors, front and rear nerf bars, road lights, and parachute pack. Now, something I figured out about this. The 63 Avanti has round headlights. These custom ones they're talking about are square, as we will see. The 64 to 63 five or six whenever they stopped making the Avanti under Studebaker had the square headlights so if you get a couple of these you can actually build a few different years of the Avanti using these custom parts so anyway exterior features opening doors steering three versions stock custom and Bonneville for your drag uh, for your salt flats interior options seat belts custom steering wheel tachometer custom shifter fire extinguisher and custom roll cage over 120 parts paint and cement not included okay now prestige oh prestige means held in high regards by others amt model kits have earned this esteem by offering the finest models available in the prestige series we offer a group of exceptional models with added value including white sidewall tires metal chroming foil, trophies and display accessories, and reference material to complete a truly significant product. Prestige! Okay, anyway. So the side of the box looks like the top of the box. And over here we get to see the Prestige features. Now, first off, this is from 1989 by the Ertl Company. So, really cool. And like I said, I have extra parts in here because of that phone call. So the accessory show trophies you get, plus this board with a decal that actually tells you about the car. Custom 289 cubic inch V8 engine that's got the dual Paxton superchargers. And the stock version 
And of course your detailed interior. Look at that paint job that that model builder did. That looks really nice. All right. Now this seven box course looks like the top, so we won't worry about it. But what we will do is open up our prestige kit. And now note here that you get the instructions and this is what makes it part of the prestigiousness. You get this. Now let's move the parts out of the way for a moment. I'll move the instructions out of the way because let's just take a look at this. Now if we zoom out the camera. Here are some stock black and white photos. Too bad this wasn't in color, but it was 1989 anyway. This is a, obviously sitting in a muscle car museum or something, outdoors. This is the Studebaker Avanti from 63. Actually, this is 64, because look, there's those square headlights. So this is an Avanti 2, which may not be part of Studebaker. Um, because there was an Avanti company that came out afterwards. And then look at this. This, you get the entire pullout of the entire history of the Studebaker Avanti. And this is what made it prestige. Now I'm not gonna read this because that'll be like a 22 hour long video. So let's just switch gears and look at the instructions now. So of course I got my history here. October 20th, 1993, bought it at Toys and Wheels in Lougheed Mall. That, that's in British Columbia for 19.99. A warped body. New body arrived November 26, 1993. Also, all the white pieces. So I could actually build two of these. Now they give you the history right there. These are again the big long pullout instructions. I do believe the kit originally came out in the end of the 1960s. Okay, so here's all our engines. So this is the basic engine going together. Assemble all non-plated parts. Paint this unit flat black. Paint the distributor gloss black. Okay, so there's that. So then here is the stock engine. And you do get one supercharger on there. Single Paxton with the blower tube. So this car would have been quite fast in the day with the blowers. And then here's your custom Bonneville drag racing one with the dual Paxton superchargers. And there aren't very many Studebaker model kits out there, the 53 and the 63. Anyway, so our interior is sort of a pseudo bucket. Um, it does have the cutouts for the door, which is nice because you can paint the back little bucket portions. You get the bucket seats, center console and a shifter, the dashboard and steering linkage and all that. It says paint the interior to match the body. Avanti colors, white, turquoise, black, gold, and red. My dad painted one red. It is a nice kit, it goes together well. I know, because my dad built one. <laughs> okay, so then you get some custom pieces for the Bonneville edition, which includes seat belts and a tachometer, and a different type of steering wheel, a four spoke, instead of the factory two spoke. Okay, so then we get into wheel assembly. So there's your stock aluminum wheels right there and the moon hubcaps. So pretty cool moon for the Bonneville. Uh, then, oh, and then here is the Bonneville only roll cage interior. So you get the roll cage, you get the fire extinguisher. And then of course you got your tachometer and all the rest of that type of stuff from before. Okay, so here we get our chassis. So starting here is the stock version, the dual exhaust going through. It is more or less a separate frame. And then of course here's our custom and Bonneville with those massive headers coming out of there. Uh, now we get into the rear with the, um, whoops, the rear um, differential cover, the springs, drive shaft and whatnot. And now there's our front end with the steerable wheels, posable wheels, left and right side. Now this has got the classic Studebaker. Now I own a real 1951 bullet nose. And this is actually how their steering linkage is. It goes right into the center and there's two little tiny tie rods. And it's that's true to the real car. Anyway, um, 
The rear has a metal axle that goes all the way through and there's two backing plates off your differential. Now as we turn this thing over, it's kind of an interesting thing here. So it's showing if you want for one of the options you can remove the shaded area around your headlights for the square headlights for the custom which if you actually do that puts it into a later year of Avanti it wasn't too many upgrades but there was definitely a round to square headlight thing okay so here is the doors going together and of course showing you the hood hinges and all that stuff with your interior door panels separately molded very nice detail on them and then we get into our battery and electrical ground so I guess this is very much like a Corvette with a fiberglass type of body. Something that needed to be grounded onto the frame. And then you pop your hood in. The hood has an asymmetrical um, hood scoop to it. The radiator and all that hook in. They're part of the hood hinges, so be careful as you're assembling those. There it shows your detailing with the bare metal foil for your emblems. Okay, so then we get into our final assembly up here. This is the stock 1963 version with the round headlights, the rear bumpers, the backups, all that kind of cool stuff. Then your custom Bonneville with the square lights from about 1964, I do believe. But in this one you get the parachute. Oh, you can also use uh, headlight covers, circular ones, as it shows, to blank that off. And then there's our final little bits. These are all the trophy parts. There's a scale model car of a 84 Corvette. So, or maybe an 89 at this stage. Probably make more sense, right? You get an easel with a display board and a display board decal and all the different trophies and stuff. So, there's our instructions for 63 Studebaker. And now, uh, let's go down and check out the plastic components. All right, so here we have the Studebaker of Antibody. And uh, it, again, like last week's Chrysler Turbine, is one of these ones that has opening doors and an opening hood. The trunk lid doesn't open, um, but that's okay. <laughs> you can see sort of a difference in the way the bodies were made from the turbine from last week. The front fenders are attached on the AMT kit which is okay because you got this big panel in the front here and speaking of that panel if you look they do have the square couple lines around here so you can turn these into the square headlights for the 1964 Avanti model uh, the back trunk lid here our panel has Dudebaker engraved along the back which is a good touch and then of course you have your of anti Studebaker logo right in there. You will have to cut these cross braces out in order to have room for the doors to open. There is some detail on the headliner up above including the sun visors and a couple of buttons for the optional bits of the Avanti. And under hood it's a little bit plain in there but it does have the vents and the little raised one here with the windshield wipers engraved in on the top. And on that nose, there is the Avanti script. Next up, we have the frame of the Studebaker with a bit of the panels molded in here for the, uh, the underneath of the car. It has that cross frame, which was popular back in the late 50s, early 60s. And there you've got the top of your A-arm suspension, much like a GM car. If we turn this over, there is sort of a texture in here. But of course we've got these mold release marks, which you'll have to take out with your number 16 hobby knife. Next up we have the interior, which again is a semi-tub. Of course we have our opening doors, so the panels will be there. These little marks here are for the seats which are really narrow and tiny. Uh, we've got a transmission tunnel here, which will have a console, which you can glue in there. There's your pedals, your gas, brake, and clutch. And uh, some nice detail on the seats, although a little bit soft. 
There are some old buttons again, which you'll have to take off with your number 16, yeah, hobby blade. And then of course we have some texture there for underneath, so when we hook the frame up, the texture carries through. So next up on this parts tree we have the drag parachute for the dragster option, the front pins for our wheels and the suspension. There's a full um, harness seat belt, plus a regular seat belt there. There's probably one molded here that fell off. Nope, maybe not. Okay, then we have our door panels here, and you can see the nice engraving that you get when, of course, you can lay this thing flat and mold it that way. See, there you go, that tuck and roll pattern again, which is popular back in that era. And your door latches, window cranks, armrests, and of course a Studebaker logo. So next up we have the dashboard and as you can tell there's some nice ribs and that across the dashboard which look good with the chrome. Uh, there's our instrument cluster you can see all the nice gauges inside there. Really nice detail on this kit for the vintage of it and of course got a little vent there. And next up we have our suspension components. So this is a hinge piece, which is where the radiator would go for the front hood. There's our drive shaft, our two separate steering linkages, which was popular uh, Studebaker thing. There's the center bar, which would hook up to the steering column. Then we have our front coil springs, the upper A-arms, shock absorbers. There's our suspension components, kingpins and whatnot, with two Two holes in there for different heights, stock and custom. Then we've got a rear differential and it's got a top cover as well. You'll have to get those out of there, the mold marks, using your number 16 hobby knife so that the metal axle will be able to spin. Now here we have our exhaust pipes. I'm not sure what these are, probably headlight blanks. There's the one of the hinges for the hood or the hood hinge, and there's our center console, the brake drums and disc brakes, as well as the other half of the exhaust pipes. We'll just turn this over here. So the Avanti was special for that year because it had disc brakes, and there's the calibers right there. So here we have a long 6 volt style battery, as well as the engine components. So here's the blowers, Paxson turbocharged or supercharged blowers, the fan belts, of course the fan, the more exhaust pipes here. Oh actually these are intakes for that Paxton supercharger. There's a, a radiator hose with a overflow tank on the top. There's our uh, intake manifold as well as the cylinder heads, the oil pan, the engine block, and another belt and pulley system here and here we have our roll bar and some of the pieces for the roll cage there's our steering column and our steering wheel this is the front of what do they call it valance pan or whatever for the grill and then these are the wheel backs and if we just turn them over you can see they have larger holes here for those plastic pins and the smaller ones that go on the back for the metal rod. And here we have some exhaust headers for of course the racing engine which would have the dual Paxton superchargers as well as our wheel backs here for the stock or for the custom wheels. And here we have the Studebaker Avanti hood with the offset hood scoop asymmetrical. There's two little harness seat belts there or lap belts for the seats. And then there's our door hinges, the Avanti license plates, a radiator, and here we're, here's where the two seats are. And then we have a fan shroud. Okay, so now we have another big chrome tree and there's a lot going on here. So, what we have are all the bumpers, custom bumpers and whatnot for our Avanti. Then we have four 
or three sets of wheels. So you've got these slotted old mag wheels down here and here. Then you've got four Baby Moon hubcaps. And I think I used the one, like I said, my dad built this a long time ago. And I was able to use these on uh, a 1940 Ford Dragster. Then over here we've got these Studebaker wheels that came on the Avanti. There's our cylinder head, or our valve covers, sorry. And our grill, and a whole bunch of custom headlights, and timing chain covers. There's the round headlights for the 1963 and the square ones for the 64. And of course our steering wheel knockoffs for uh, either putting on there or on these guys. And a whole bunch of cool things. There's a carburetor, a bunch of parking lights, fire extinguisher, you name it, it's on here. And here we have the glass for the Studebaker. There's our front windshield and our rear window. And these don't have that big bridge over top like on the 63 Corvette, which I reviewed earlier. There's some little teeny parking lights, the square headlights for 64, the round ones for 63. Then we have the no draft windows and the back rear two windows. And next up we have a full set of custom wheels here, as well as the stock Firestone narrow tires. Now these old Firestone tires are the same ones that have appeared in like 32 Fords and everything like that. Except these ones have the white wall printed on. And then here we have the tried and true Goodyear Polyglass L60-15s, which have been a standard in AMT custom kits or stock kits as well. These ones have the spider web inside them, so you can see, so you need to take your number 11 hobby blade and carefully cut through the spider webs to remove this. And then these tires have a nice piece of flash running all the way around the center, so you need to scuff those down. And they do have a zigzag tread pattern, whereas our stock tires here, they just have the straight line type of pattern. Now here's one of the cool things that AMT included with the Prestige kits. These are all the components that your car would have if it went to a car show. So these are diorama pieces. Now these are little posts and poles that would be uh, for around your car. They've got little holes in them so you can link a string around so that people can't, uh, you know, walk in and touch your car kind of thing at the show. This is a plaque describing what the car is all about. Of course this one's upside down. Then we have a trophy here and another trophy there as well as the trophy and the different cups that are down here for the show. And then this is the easel for your display board. Also included in this kit is this foil sticker, which you use like bare metal foil now. And you can see me in there. <laughs> but you use this as bare metal foil and you can apply it to the side of your car. And finally, we've got our decal sheet. Now here we have New York State license plates that say NYS123 and the old Utah 000AAA license plate. Did anybody actually have this? That's, that's really unique. Okay, and then here, this is the sticker, or the uh, decal for our easel. So it says 1963 Studebaker Avanti, restored by blank, owned by blank, and insured value. So you could actually like take a little teeny sharpie and write in <laughs> those details if you want. And that completes our review of the AMT Ertl Prestige Series 1963 Studebaker Avanti. Well, I hope you enjoyed that awesome review that I just did on the Prestige Series 1963 Studebaker Avanti by AMT Ertl. Yeah, I sure did like making that review. And guess what? Next week I will be making another great review that you won't want to miss. So let's not forget to like, subscribe, and share to my channel. Pound 
that notification bell so that you are the first person to know when I made a video for you. <laughs> so, until next time, model builders, have fun checking out your 1963 Studebaker and happy model building. Thank you.